Greetings shipmates, welcome to the uh, Stallbridge Turkish Bar that we've got going on here. It is very steamy in here. Yeah, it's part of brewing, isn't it? Is it? Respect. <laughs> I'll be wanting someone to massage me in about five minutes time. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> There's been a few developments lately in Ed's brew house. He hasn't brewed for about four and a half years. No, sorry, months. Why do we no, do that? Why do we do that? Yeah, it was November, wasn't it? Yeah, so Ed, is, uh, he's finally stopped procrastinating about what equipment he buys and how he does it and what brew he's going to do. So we're back in the brew shed, Ed's personal brew shed, and we thought you'd be interested to see a few specifics on his uh, new setup. And then we'll we'll do a proper brew video in, in a few weeks. Did you want me to say it? No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, just give us a brief run. Oh. Just give us a brief rundown before we go oh, in. So the things. new equipment. Well, yeah, it's all. It's hard to remember what I had the last time I did the through on video. Great start. So, <laughs> got the 14 gallon uni tank from SS Brew Tech. We've used that a couple. Of That's times. old news, bro. We've seen that. Before. Is it? We don't. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We've seen that. Right. Before. Uh, what about the new HLT? I had an old HLT before, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Okay. So I had an old HLT from Malt Miller. This one's more to the purpose built. It's from SS Brew Tech. It's a 20 gallon HLT. Yep, but you've added um, two more with the tri-tank fittings. Yeah, so I've added these, you can see here on this side, that's for the HLT. Yep. Um, if you want to have a look in the top, you can see the, um, the little Herms coil. Yep. Done that right. Okay, it's a, so it's a triple flow Herms coil from Brew Pie in Holland. Brew Pie? Brew Pie. They're, they're called yeah. Brew Pie. They're called Brew Pie. Yeah, Brew Pie PI. Okay. Um, and they do all sorts of, yeah, a lot of people know about it. Okay. Brew Pie. What do you call it? Raspberry Pie. What's that? 3.14, the pie, the number it. pie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. We brought the intelligence behind the camera. That's Andrew speaking back there. You'll see Andrew soon on the video. The new addition to the team. So anyway, yeah, so I'm very happy with that. It's a, it's a triple flow Herms coil in there. It yeah. works really well. And obviously I can recirculate with the Whirlpool system provided by SS Brute. Um, mash ton, same mash ton, but I've got the little fitting here. So I've got the thermo well in there, tri thermo thermowell. I've got a little sight glass there so I can keep an eye on the work as it's pumping through. Oh, it's a sexy glass, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. So that's a little thermo well, well there for the temp probe. Bloody tops. Um, so that I can monitor the temperature of the mash at that point instead of using it. So you can see I've blanked off the temp probe there. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, nice. And then, nice. yeah, the boil kettle is, yeah, same boil kettle. Same boil same kettle. kettle. Uh, six kilowatt element in the boil kettle, and then I've got a 5.5 kilowatt element in the HLT. And then, up on the wall, hidden behind the uni tank, got the Ironbury 3V2P. Sorry about the shadow. <laughs> Brew control unit. Tell us about that. Required a little bit of, um, yeah, it can do up to 40, um, sorry, 40 amps. Oh, nice. Only my second time brewing with it. It's pretty technical, though, isn't it? I mean, you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really, really decent user friendly manual. They're, they're designed and built out in Northern Ireland. Right. So I'm really happy with it. I brew from Northern Ireland? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look it up. We call me alive. <laughs> Uh, go on, so what, what What are the main reasons why you... It's, well, it's all there's one. almost a, th a thousand British bananas, wasn't it, that thing? <laughs> Alright, Sam, it wasn't a thousand British bananas. Uh, a couple of hundred quid. Yeah, nice. Um, nice. <laughs> but yeah, you, it saves you constantly having to bend down, turn pumps on and off, all that kind of stuff. You can just do it there on the wall. Okay. It's a little bit high, obviously, but I'm very tall. Um, and it just kind of keeps it out of the way. Um, it can, what I love is when you're boiling, Normally, it should, uh, yeah, with, with the temporary, it monitors how sort of vicious the boil is. I don't know, dial down the percentage power of the, of the element. Okay. A few moments later. It looks like it might have boiled over, is that fair to say? Yeah, well, I wasn't here, that happened under your watch. That was you and Andrew. It all comes down to the uh, instruction, <laughs> and there was zero. Let me, just, let me just wash away the evidence. He is the pirate of the brew community. <laughs> hey, it was all going smoothly when I was there. Was it? Do you like doing the school run when you're brewing? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, and last of all, You've got a second oh, yes. Riptide. Yes. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Purpose being? Filthy floor. That is a filthy floor. They're Sorry just, about that. They're just great pumps, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, really happy with But them. why the second one? Shoot. Because I had one and I really liked it, so I thought I'd get a second one. Yeah, right, fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, one for recirculating <laughs> the HLT and then the other for um, recirculating the, the work through the mesh. Cool. Anyway, so that's the rundown on where we're at here. We do have a brew going at the moment. It's a double IPA, right? Yeah, double IPA. It's not Gamma Ray. That's one he did uh, a clone a while back. Yeah, yeah. You can ignore that. That was written in yeah, permanent yeah. marker. <laughs> yeah. it, won't come, it won't come off. So you've ruined your whiteboard? It'll come off. I just need some alcohol. Brilliant. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, today we're doing a, it's called, um, oh, what's it called? It's called, I don't know how you pronounce it. Haupt or something? H-A-W-T. 
It's a double IPA by First Viercheck in, nice. in Berlin, Germany. So no bittering hops, just No bittering whirlpool. hops at all. Just uh, Yeah, the first hop edition goes in with the Whirlpool. That's 200 grams of Columbus for this 40 litre batch. There you go. And then quite a lot in the dry hop. Yeah, dry hop, 400 grams of Simcoe and 400 grams of Mosaic. No, hefty. That's massive, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's 20 yeah, yeah, per litre. It's a 40 litre yeah. batch, isn't it? Mm. That's some mass, ladies and gentlemen. Which, oh yeah, another little bit of equipment I've got then. It's this. So this is presuming to enlarge a part of your anatomy and you're not particularly happy <laughs> yeah. with that, right? I should do it, I'm quite happy with that. Um. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, this sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. One book, Swedish made penis enlarger pumps and me. <laughs> so, so yeah, this this will attach onto the bottom of the UV tank yeah. when it comes to um, transferring to the keg. Okay. Um, hopefully a nice carbonated beer transfer to the keg through this um, and that will take out all oh, of nice. any sort of hot matter. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Anyway, so this, this brew day is all about just getting to grips with this new system. Obviously, you know, Ed, Ed's a bit of a hothead and a bit of a pirate, so he likes to have your breakdown, so. Oh? You're getting angry? No. Come on. That's not what you said off camera about- Off camera away, I'll be honest. <laughs> well, it's not going, the pump's not turning on. You know that, so I just told you. Is it annoying you? Hopefully the next brew day will be chill, have a few beers, have a good time, get on camera for you folks at home. This is also Ed's last video apparently. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this again. So thanks very much Fred for being involved and wishing well in the future. Um, I think you should manage to get two, maybe three more brews done before you die. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Look out for the video coming up soon. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. <laughs>